Good, good evening, folks. This is Tom Murky tonight, and uh, I'm with my buddy Boomer here. <clears throat> now, Boomer's a little Karen Terrier. He's my grand dog, and as you see, he's he's a happy little dude, and he, he he's a bit of unconditional love. So a couple years ago, if you'd have told me I'd have a dog in my home like this, I'd have said never. Never. My first response would have been something like, how many pheasants can he retrieve in a day? Or how far can he swim to get a, geese out of, get a goose out of a lake? Those type of things. Uh, pretty close-minded about it. Uh, the only value I saw in, in dogs was um, for a sporting dog. Well, I don't think Boomer can chase pheasants. He likes to chase bunnies, but um, he's about 15 pounds of unconditional love. Now, Karen Terriers were born and bred for digging. They're awesome at it. And um, they, were, they were trained to go into burrows and, and get out voles and mice and little things, you know. <clears throat> but but they're, they're a European dog, and uh, they're hardy little suckers. They're a whole lot of fun. They're cantankers. They're ornery. Um, they're very, very intelligent, and um, they are unconditional love. So my, my lesson today, what I'm posting today, is always or never, because be careful when you say always. Be careful when you say never. Because just when you think you have your mind made up, <clears throat> um, you might not have one of these dogs in your house, but you might have three. And that's where we are today. And uh, it, it, it's pretty much fun to keep your heart and your mind open to possibilities. Because if you don't have the possibilities, you're never going to see an opportunity. If your mind's not open to something, it might as well, it can come by you a hundred times and you're not going to see it for what it really is. What is that little dog? Little dog's unconditional love. Little dog brings it every day. He's stepping into it, he's stepping up to it, and what he's doing is protecting and serving us. And along the way, he's given a wonderful heart, a wonderful spirit, a wonderful, wonderful, unconditional love to our home. So that's that's Boomer, um, but uh, you know, for 15 pounds, he's got the heart of a champion. Come here, buddy. And oh, I'm glad he doesn't weigh 100 pounds or 85 pounds because he'd be knocking me over my lap, jumping into my lap, and those type of things. So. So my, my wish for you today is watch your always, watch your never, because it just might knock you off your feet <laughs> and come by, back to bite you. <laughs> you might have to eat your words. Um, so he's, uh, when I'm here at home, he's pretty much my little shadow. And he likes to come along with me on rides and stuff too. So, so always and never, my challenge to you is, Give me three always and three nevers that you said for many years, and then you changed your mind and changed a whole lot about who you are and what you are after you allowed those potentials and possibilities to come to you. So be well, savor your day, and uh, I look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. It's day three in my 90-day challenge, staying with it, staying up, having fun, learning. Got some great lessons today that I'm going to share tomorrow, but for today, it's uh, always and never. Let's try to use some other words in your vocabulary. Thanks. See you.